Hey guys, it's Chris here again with another quick tip. Have you ever sent your job or JXL files into the office and not gotten the images or scan data captured in the field? In this episode, we're going to look at the copy to function in Trimble Access. Use of this function will ensure that all of the files are transferred correctly. The copy to function should replace the use of exports in your daily workflow and is especially important when working with SX10 or SX12 data in order to get all of the data in the correct format. The first step is to open the project where the job is located. So this first project, we'll just double click it. Next, open the job that needs to be copied. So we'll double click that again. And now we've got our job open. Now click on the menu bars in the upper left hand corner and choose the name of the job that needs to be copied. That should be the job that's open. Down here at the bottom of the page, click copy and then click on copy job files to. Now you have to path your thumb drive over here under the destination folder. We'll click the menu. I'm pathing to this D drive right here. We'll hit accept. So we're going to turn, make sure the switch is turned on to create a job XML. You want to copy media files. If you're using uh, Trimble Access Roads, you'll, you'll click the copy roads, but we're not in this project. We'll copy exported files and any linked files. If you created a feature library in the fields, you'll need to copy, you need to check the copy feature library files. Uh, unless you're using tunnels, you will not select copy tunnel files. And then over here, copy coordinate system files. That copies all the geoids over, so we don't really need to do that. So once we have everything selected, media, exported, and linked files, we can go ahead and hit copy. So it's complete. It'll ask us if we want to eject the USB device. We'll tell it yes. So now on the D drive, we have a job that says we have a, a Trimble data folder, and then we have projects. We have first project, and then we have the job, the JXL, and the file folder that contains any images. Now we're going to take a look at the Android version. So now I've got the TSC5 open. And the first steps are the same. So we'll click first project. We'll open up our job. Then I'm going to insert the USB drive. And then we'll click on the menu bars and the job name. We'll hit copy. We need to select the USB drive. So we'll tell it yes. And then allow access allow. So now we've got the drive. We'll choose the drive and hit accept. And we'll make sure that the XML is copied, linked files, uncheck road, uncheck tunnel, and make sure exported files is checked. We'll hit copy. So the file transfer is complete. We'll hit OK, and we'll eject the USB device. So now I can open up a file explorer and plug the USB device into my, or the thumb drive into my computer, and we'll take a look at what happens then. So now we can open up a Windows Explorer folder, and then we can come down and go to our USB drive. And once again, we have a Trimble data folder and then the project, our first project. And then we have the JXL, the job, and the files folder that has all the images that we collected. Thanks for watching this month's tip. We'll see you next month with another quick tip from Chris.